Hello and welcome back to episode 6 of the Seattle Sentinels NHL 21 franchise. Um, we pick it up at basically the start of free agency for the 2021 season. Um, I realized after the fact that I stopped it a few days early, so I have one or two quick cleanup items. Um, so I think I lose, yeah, I lose one scout. So let's go quickly take a look at that. It was this Saint, Saint Denis. Um, he's got an A in his region, but he's a C minus overall. He's only 33 years old, so maybe he gets better as a scout. I think I'm going to probably let him walk and see if I can find somebody better. So let's whack him. Uh, I can't hire a scout right now to replace him, which also reminds me I will need to eventually hire a, a goalie coach for my AHL team, which I also can't do right now. So, but whatever. Uh, we reached the start of resign phase. Now, sort of advance eyeballing it. I have good news and I have bad news, and it's kind of the same news, which is I don't have a lot of expiring contracts in my top 20. Um, so the good news is I don't have to worry about losing any key pieces. The bad news is if I want to improve my team, things get a little murky because I don't have a lot of ready-made spots to put people in. If you look at who's up on the UFA side, we got Jankowski, who's kind of my depth forward, maybe my fourth line center at best. And then Lyre and Schmaltz are both uh, minor league guys. And I think, and oh, the one hole we might have is Riddich at starting goaltender. Um, let's roughly see what he's asking for. Four million? Eh. I might want to see what the market has open on goalies, see if there's a possible upgrade there. Um, here, let's look at pending free agents really quick. See what we got at goalie. Uh, Bennington, I'm not sure Bernier's really at 88 overall. Carter Hart's an RFA, so I don't know that I see him hitting the market. And then Dubnik, Grubauer, hard to see the Shesterkin hitting free agency. A bunch of older guys who are kind of sideway moves. I guess Saros is a little younger, so he might be an upgrade. I mean, there's something to be said for just re-signing Riddich. On the other hand, because none of these guys are really, except maybe Bennington, and that's if he hits free agency, but then if he doesn't, Flip side is I'm not sure there's a lot of, you know, there's probably not a lot of urgent demand for uh, Riddich either, so I can probably just pick him back up. Um, maybe I'll see if I can get him on a short deal, like two or three years. What's he want again? I see he wants five years. Let's offer two years at 3.5. If he takes that, I can probably live with that. If he doesn't, then we'll probably let him go to free agency. Um, as far as these guys, Jankowski, I mean, he's pretty good for a depth forward, so 1.47 is not killing me, so I'm willing to offer him that. Um, I mean, Liar had a good year in triple in my with my minor league team. Uh, what's he want, money wise? A uh, two way deal, yeah. If it's a two way deal and if it's under like a million, then the only real question is keep how many contracts I want to have. So I want to have. A, I'm at 46 now. I want to have a little bit of room for for a couple contracts for new free agents. And I get 18 million cap space. So, what's uh, what Schmaltz want? Again, he wants a two-way deal. Um, defense is a little more crowded, so I might let him expire. Let's see what we look like on RFAs. Uh, Gustafson is an RFA. 
What's he looking for? Two years on. Yeah, two way deal under a million is almost a definite yes, unless he's just. Unless he sucks and I want the roster spot back, is my general rule. Okay, see, here's where things get a little tricky. Defense wise, Foots and RFA, Belpedio, Sorry RV, Anderson, Green. So I got a lot of bodies on defense. Maybe I'm going to let uh, Schmaltz walk. At center, Amadio and Fortin. Which, and I've got, still got Sorella, Chemilevsky, Dolan. I think I can afford to let one or both of those guys go and reclaim some roster space. So I think I'm going to probably let both of those guys walk. Um, Who knows, maybe I turn around and go get him again later, but they're not urgent signings, certainly. All right, now Zikoff, I mean, he had a decent year for me, I guess. 22 goals, 19 assists, played all 82 games. But again, I think I'm pretty crowded on wings in the minors. We have a similar. Got Lear, Zikov, Peron, Afanasev. Oops, didn't want to actually back out of that. Let's approach this another way. Let's see what people are asking for money-wise. All right, Foot is pretty much going to move up into the starting lineup now that I... Uh, that's, at least that's the intent. Um, Zikoff. Uh, 1.125 million one-way deal. I'm going to hold off on him. Belpedio. Okay, two-way deal. That's fine. Sorry, RV. Two-way deal. Yeah, if they sign two-way, if they're gonna give me one more year of two-way deals. You see, Jessic. He's got some speed. I mean, again, he's asking for a two-way deal, so what the heck? I'll give it to him. Peron, what do you want? Two-way deal, fine. Anderson. So it looks like all my good young defensemen are kind of willing to take two-way deals for at least one more year. And that basically... All right, I'm going to let Zikov walk. And that basically covers everybody, doesn't it? So we're going to see what happens with the Riddich. And then we're going to take... And then, based on that, we'll basically be done and take the rest of it to free agency. Okay, he is not... If I was given a chance to play, dude, you're the starter. Yeah, I'm signing you to play you. Okay, Jankowski's going to reject... Okay, that was the money you asked for and you rejected. So maybe I'm letting Jankowski go to free agency too. I mean... Okay, Gustafson renews. Renew. Okay, Lear also rejected. Renew, but he's not really essential. He had a good year for the minor league team, but he's not an essential player. Renew. Renew. Renew! Okay, well... My gut impression is a bunch of guys who want all the two-way deals renewed, all the one-way deals did not. I mean, I...
I'm inclined to just go ahead and let all these guys walk to free agency. And Riddich in particular, I will come back to depending because I'm going to need a starting goaltender. But these other three guys, I mean, if I replace them with different guys, I'm not sure that really kills me. So, you know what? Let's release Jankowski. Release Lear. Release Schmaltz. And goalie. And we'll release him. All right. And that basically is going to take us to... Oh, the other thing I usually like to do is my number one pick, I almost pretty much always resign, always sign my number one pick to his entry-level contract. Unless I just feeling like if I'm picking way down in the round and he's going to be like two or three years away, that's one thing. But if I pick any sort of decent number one pick, I just go ahead and give him their ELC. So I can kind of allocate the contract. And that should be it at this point. So I'm just going to sim out to the start of regular free agency now. Now, the one thing I've noticed about my roster, both generally and specifically, is that I need some size. Um, specifically, uh, I got Rohan Weber, who's a playmaker, and I've got several snipers on left wing, but I could use a center who is a, fa a power forward type to, to put together a good chemistry line there. But in general, I have a bunch of snipers and a few playmakers, a few two-way forwards, but I don't have a lot of size. I do not have any power forward player. So one of my main goals in free agency is going to be try to get either in trade or in uh, free agency, get myself a power forward or two. Um, so we'll have to see how that goes. So let's start at least by looking at what's available in the free agent pool. Remember, we don't really have any, st other than starting goalie, we don't have any holes in the lineup. So at center, I'm mostly going off of play styles. Gets laughs available. He's 35 years old, 36 years old though, so. I mean, I'd kind of like a guy who's more a mid-career guy. So to have a couple years to work with uh, Weber, build some chemistry. Now, Landeskog is available, but he is also arguably the best player in the market, and he's going to get a lot of interest. Zach Sanford, but I don't think he's really a starting caliber player. Yeah, 81 overall. That's not moving the needle a whole lot. And on the right wing, uh, Wayne Simmons. I mean, Alex Chason. Right, right wing's not as urgent for, for power forward because... Um, I'd also have to get a center that would fit the style. So it's like a, a power forward at center can drop right in. A power forward at left wing can drop right in. A power forward at right wing, I'd have to go get an additional player to make it work anyways. So I'm not sure that really helps me that much. I mean, I don't need any defensemen, but kind of like take a look who's on, who's available on defense. I mean... Some sort of interesting names. Dougie Hamilton's certainly a good player. Um, but again, and most importantly, goalies. Um, okay, Bennington is our, the best player on the pool. So maybe I put him, I mean, and he's a little more expensive than Riddich, but, you know, maybe I go get, quote unquote, the best goalie in the pool. And he's also at a decent age, so I could control him for several years. Um, the other thing I want to do is look at possible trade candidates, and I did a little pre, I'm going to have to admit, I did a little bit of pre-research on this, because I wanted to see what was available, and the one guy that really, there were a couple guys that stuck out to me, one was Charlie Coyle, the other was Kevin Hayes, 
Hayes gets a little bit expensive. But Coyle was kind of interesting to me because he's only 29. And he's a power forward. So, you know, he might fit my... He would kind of fit my plans pretty well. So let's see what Boston would want for Charlie Coyle. Shea, pull you, Yarvi, Athanasiu. It's kind of steep. I mean, I mean, I could go do that and then get somebody to replace Shea. Strom, pull you, Yarvi, and Vatna. Then he... Strom, I kind of still have plans for. Foot and Hoffman. Bear and Hoffman. Eberly and Puyo Yarvi. Oof. There's no deal there that's really jumping out at me as the one I want to do. Um. I, hmm. See, the real thing is I'd like to actually move Cunning or Hints from center because they're two-way forwards. That, uh, Strom's a playmaker, so I actually kind of have plans to put a, put a line together with him. Um, let's see if I can tweak this trade at all, see what... I mean, it's still kind of steep. It's still three guys just to get Coil, which... I'm not crazy about. Let's try to throw kind of in there. Maybe that and one of the extra picks. I mean, I'm kind of overpaying for Coil. On the other hand, we're talking about the development of what's supposed to be my franchise player. So maybe I do overpay for him a little bit. Well, it's... oh, brother. Let me see what. Uh... Oh, the other was Pavel Zaka. Uh, for the Devils. He was a power forward. He also kind of fits the mold. So, I'm going to try... Yeah, you know, let's see what... Oh, wait. I'm going to do it the other way if I want to get solicit offers. Okay, see Hayes. They at least are willing. They're interested in moving Hayes. So that might that would. And he's he's mid career. He's twenty nine. So he's a little more expensive though. So let me see if the, the offers on Hayes are more realistic. See a pair of thirds. Shemaleski and Sarella. Green and a third. That's actually doable. I think I'm going to say yes to that. Um, I kind of like Coil a little better, but the price is right for this one. So, and I have multiple thirds in the next year. Because that's actually not my third, that's Pittsburgh's that I got in a trade. And look, I have three or four young defensemen, so they can't all play anyway. So you know what? Let's. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the trigger. This does mean that I'm got now a surplus at center and a surplus at left wing. So I may need to put some players on the block and package them up and see what I can do. But all right, we're getting hit. We're getting Kevin Hayes. Because gets laugh at 36. I'd rather have a guy who I'm gonna have for a while. Even if he's a couple, even if it's like a million or two million more expensive. So, now we go into the free agency. Back to business. I'm going to put a bid on Lang Landis Cog. Jeez. Okay. St. Louis and Minnesota are also interested. I mean, do I, I could go higher, but. 
on the other hand, I need also need a goalie. So if I go nine million on Landeskog, I only have. Hmm. Let me see if I can also clear some space with a trade. Because I have Strom, Hints, Cunning, Hayes, and I've got Lenko coming up. So I got five centers that. And I mean, I so let's try Cunning. He's probably the most replaceable of the guys. A third and a fourth, a third and a fourth, second and a third, third and a fourth, third and a fourth. There's a lot of people willing to give me a third and a fourth for him. A second. <laughs> Interestingly, I could go Kadobin, and I would solve my starting goaltender problem too. It's a third and the fourth next year seems to be the theme. You know what? I'm going to take Boston's offer. It's second this year, the second this coming year, and a third the following year. And that clears 3.4 in salary cap. Lets me go after Bennington and um, Landeskog. So let's go with that. All right. I also want to look at a trade on the left wing because again <coughs> excuse me again I've got some I got Hoffman, Athanasiu, Brat, Duclair, and DeBrusque. Of course these guys don't seem like they have a lot of trade value. Duclair, ugh, DeBrusque, ugh, Brat, no. I mean Hoffman's the only one that has any sort of real trade value. So Duclair was the one I mean Declare and DeBrusque were the ones that didn't even have good years. Like Declare, 10 goals, 16 assists. DeBrusque, 7 and 15. DeBrusque's a little younger. Declare's faster. And arguably, Declare had the better year. So let's see what sort of trade net they could get. Ooh, a sixth round. Oh, boy, that is not interesting. That. That would basically just be dumping the salary for Duclair. Fifth and a sixth, fourth and a seventh. I mean, not a lot better for DeBrusque. Then a C is a little bit better. Okay, nobody even wants that. Then a C U. Brat? Does anyone want Brat? It's still not all that exciting. I mean, third and fourth. It starts to get sort of interesting, I guess. Brat's a playmaker. If I have an excess, it's probably snipers. So, hmm. Um. So 
So I could basically get a fourth to get rid of DeBrusque, or I could just dump Duclair for basically nothing. Is where it stands. So 8.7 plus 5 is 13.7. If I get both those guys, it would pretty much take up all my... Well, you know what? Let's see what happens. I mean, we got to kind of get a sense. Those are, the two, those are the two big targets. So let's see what happens with them, and that will kind of determine where the rest of this offseason goes. So usually things resolve themselves by July 4th. No, I don't need that. Oh, here, let's at least do the other thing. Let's at least put those guys on the block, formally, if they're not already there. Might be able to part with a sprong. So you got <coughs> Everly, Pull you URV, Nyquist, Sprong, and then I'll have Weber coming up. So I could also part with either Pull you URV or Sprong. So let's put Sprong on the block. Too. Okay, Landis Gog went to Ottawa, which kind of answers that question. Because now, if we want to get a left wing... Oh, Spinnington went elsewhere as well. All right, well, shit. Well, Bennington, I, I chose to lowball him, so that's, that's partially my fault. So, goalies. Let's do goalies first. Okay, Grubauer is still available. Let's try to get Grubauer. He is also mid-career age-wise. He's a little bit better than Riddich. So let's give him a contract offer at what he wants since this is now our main signing. We're not really going after anyone else. Um, left wing. Let's see, I mean... I could get Simmons and that kind of mixes up my situation at right wing. Does it make me better? I don't know. Petrie. Hmm. Um. There were a couple power forward left wings I was kind of interested in. Or <coughs> like um, Chris Kreider. Let's, he's not great, but he's expensive, so let's see what we can get for Kreider. Pull you, Yarvi, and Gustafson. Uh, Afanaseev and Sorella. A third in Gustafson. Tara Tukin in a third. Nyquist in a third. I mean, if I really want a deal, there's a deal. That would get me a power forward left wing. Nothing sexy. Um, Islanders have Anders Lee. That might be an option. Price goes up a little bit. Oops, didn't want to there. Huh. Hmm. 
Greenway, except he's got even more trade value than those other guys. Kane. Hmm. Yeah, see, left wing is going to be a little tougher to find somebody. Unless I want to kind of take a chance on a less proven guy. Foot and Duclair. Hmm. I mean, I had been thinking of having Foot as a starter, but I do still have Hamannick, so it's not like I'd be dead in the water. It would clear several million in salary. And I'd get a power forward left wing. And that guy would go with probably Strom and Eberly. I mean, it's a bit of a reach, but... I mean, Duclair was going to be doing nothing for me anyways. And Foot, I mean, yeah, I like Foot, but at the same time, I do have other young defensemen in the pipeline. Um, okay, you know what? Let's, let's do that. It kind of shakes my roster up and gives me a little more size. So, and... It, Gets me out of a little bit of contract hell, so... Yeah. Alright, so Max Jones is now potentially my left wing. Oh, well, now the other thing we want to do is look at contracts here and just sort of see if we need bodies in the minors at any positions. All right, so centers, our, that's our top four, which is ex pretty much what I expected it to be. Left wing, Hoffman, DeBrusque, Athanasiu, Bratt, and Jones. We still have five bodies, but we may need to see about, so we might need to see, if, well, Athanasiu can be a depth forward, even if I have to kind of force the CPU to choose the lines properly. Um, and again, we're gonna add Weber to this mix, so we're a little deep at right wing. We have a little bit of surplus. Well, J.T. Brown, though, is not really going to be starting for us, so he'll go to the minors or be a depth forward. So, defense. I mean, our starting six is fine. We could possibly use a veteran seventh, or maybe we could look at pushing the, pushing the stack down, because I'm not a huge fan of Hamannick. And again, goalie, we're still kind of looking for a replacement starting goalie. Oh, we also want to do kind of in the system. Let's see what bodies we need. Okay, Sorella, Shamilevsky, Dolan, and Dolk. I mean, we have bodies at center. Perron, Afanasev. We could probably use one more left wing. Edsel, Jasek. Looks like we could use a couple right wings. And now we have four defensemen, although one of them is Bellamy at 61 overall, is not signed as kind. So we actually did three, a couple defensemen. Okay, got an idea of how many bodies we need in the minors. So let's go sign some free agents. Sorry, I'm just thinking Krejci 
for two years might actually not be terrible. Then again, I just d jumped through a bunch of hoops to not have to go get Getz Getzlaff, who's basically the same age. So, uh, what am I even doing? Um, you know what? I might go get Wayne Simmons. Um, gives me a power. Gives again gives me a little more size, which is one of the things my team's been lacking. I mean, he can be bottom six, and that's probably fine. He's got no offers on him. He's only asking for two years. Then the real question is, do I want to go for Petrie and bump Montour to my, or not Montour, uh, Hamannick to my depth forward position? That would be the kind of question mark there. David Savard. Dude, let's get him. I mean, I don't know. I don't really believe he's an 88 overall, but I think he'd be an upgrade over Hamannick. get this peak kid since he's saying he's elite even if he may not actually be elite we need bodies Well, I mean, Max Jones is a lot is younger than Fogel, but I could have had Fogel for parts. In fact, maybe I'll still pick him up as a free agent, just because I got the roster spots. Right wings. Yeah, I mean, I'm getting a bunch of cheap guys now, so to have the money, why not? Former first round pick there. this point Savard so in terms of dollars there's five million for Grubauer then that's five million between Savard and Simmons that's 10 million 11 12 and then these guys are chump chain okay so we got room for all these guys generally upgrades my minor league team. I don't know if that's necessarily... Well, let's see where that leaves us. Let's run a few days of Sim and see what we got. Yes. No. I'm going to decline that. I mean, my strategy's a little bit dikim you know, akimbo, but... I'm not okay. Bar, but no, these little guys. That's the other thing. Is none of these guys except Grubauer are really essential to the plan. And yes, we got Grubauer, so we got a starting goaltender. Okay, Peak went elsewhere. Savard signed with us. Okay, so that jumbles up our defense a little bit. Simmons signs with us. Okay, that makes the bottom six a little more interesting. And okay, Svech went elsewhere. Okay, that's not terrible. None of this is terrible. 
Um, so let's quickly go back and look at the con look at the sort of depth chart again. Centers. I'm assuming Alenko would be the fourth center, um, even though he's not showing at the moment. Uh, I got five left wings. If I have to force Jones into the starting lineup, I will. Right wings, I get five right wings. Again, I might move Sprong before it's all over. Defense, there's our seven. I mean, I, I, Savard's looking looking like he might be a fine pick. And then our goalies are now Grubauer and Husso. Okay, so now we're kind of in the system. Gustafson, Soderstrom, Cui, Sogas, and Wallstedt. We got a bunch of goalies. On defense, we now have one, two, three. We still only have three and a half defensemen. So we're going to need some bodies on defense in the minors. Uh, right wings, Brown, Edsel, Jasic, or Yasik. So maybe one more right wing. Two. These are Now we're talking like two-way contract garbage guys. Left wing, Perron, Affy, Jacobson. So that's one more left wing. So one more of each wing. Alanka will be in the majors, so maybe one more center too. And okay, I mean, so one, three, so three defensemen and one forward at each spot. But these are like two-way contract guys. Unless I want to do something silly, which I've done stupider things. But I mean, sod, I don't even know that that's an improvement. Let's get to, uh, let's do this to what we were planning on doing. Bodker? He wants a two-way deal. Simone, as a former Penguin, I'm going to bring him on board. And we needed a right wing as well. Yeah, Rem Paul's as good as anyone else. And I need several defensemen. John Nyberg. Yeah. Let's bring a Schmaltz back for some con continuity. Yeah, 22 year old. Let's go to the young guy. I mean, I got no problem keeping Sprong as a depth forward, so I mean, I don't have to trade Sprong at this point. Okay, Sedkoff's in. Simone, Schmaltz, Rempel, Bodker, Nyberg. I think that was everybody. Was it not?
Okay. The other thing I want to check, well, since we're sort of coming toward the end of things, is who signed where. Landis Scott to Ottawa, Brennan Gallagher, Dougie Hamilton to Jersey, Stahl. Oh, Eric Stahl, my former captain. Now he's in Columbus. Gets left, Winnipeg, Lindbergh, New Jersey, Tatar. Marcus Johansson to Calgary, Galchenyuk to Columbus. Just kind of looking some things over. Big Buff, going to Boston. Petrie to Minnesota, Stefan, Martinez. Okay, we're kind of starting to get out of the interesting range. And the other, the other goalies. Bennington went to Colorado. We got Grubauer. Ranta to St. Louis. Dubnik to St. Louis. Riddich, goodbye. Off to off to San Jose for you. Dell, okay, the Pekka Rene. And then the rest of these are mostly kind of more backup guys. Okay, so interesting. So we are currently at 47 contracts. We've got 8 million in cap space. Is there I, I'm inclined to just leave 8 million in cap space. Just one last look. Anybody left that we missed? I don't think so, but I mean, Hartman I don't, doesn't guarantee to make her. I mean, at this point, if I were to spend money, I'd want to be like kind of guaranteed to be making our roster better. I mean, I always kind of like Halla. I mean, but again, I don't want to bring in a guy who's then going to push... Uh, Well, the one reason to bring in Hall, the other one reason to bring in Hall would be to push to kind of create some line chemistry with Simmons and with a sniper, because you got a playmaker. Simmons would be a right wing power forward. So, you, but then that kind of, I mean, then that leads Hints and Alanko fighting for one run for the same starting job, and I don't want to want to block my prospect by bringing, in, or I could bring in Hall as a depth forward and f manually adjust the lines, but if the CPU readjusts them, then I lose playing time. I guess as much as I like Hala in theory, I guess I don't know what he gets me, so I'm going to hold off on doing anything with him. So I guess I'm going to just go with what I've got. And that will be free agency. So let's go do our... Si Now I believe we can hire coaches, so let's look at getting a goalie coach. We need somebody with a goalie specialist. I'm looking for someone who's good with teaching. Primarily, I want their teaching ability to be pretty good. Okay, Angelo Brewer. Desmond Bendahan. Derek Van Rijn. A+. Plus. Jean de Champlain. And we needed a do we need a scout too? I think we are down one scout. The original guy was coming out of the queue. So. Acton?
Oh, no, sorry. Wait, do not the role I offered is already filled? Did I do that wrong? All right, let me go back. Hold on a second. I screwed up the I screwed up the coach. That's right. I mess I mess with my coaches so rarely that I, you know, sometimes I screw that up. What did I do wrong there? Hire coach. Champlain, is it not? There he is. Let's try this again. Goalie coach offer contract. Cool, I got a new goalie coach. All right, and I think that is basically where I, where I will wrap it up for now. Again, there's always a chance I'll tweak the roster a little bit in, tra in training camp once I start to see what guys overall come into. But for now, okay, I got a good enough team. Uh, I got a full coaching staff. I got a full roster, pretty full roster. So let's move on. Hop into next year. No, I mean that's not bad. That's setting aside the five and the seven. That's basically sprung for a second, but I'm gonna go ahead and wait on that. I find myself wondering if that Max Jones trade is going to work out properly because I'm a little worried that the CPU will like force him out of the lineup and not believe me when I want him to start. And unless I want to just turn off line management and do it all myself, I'm worried that Jones isn't going to get the playing time. But, all right, let's try and edit lines here. Yut the do. Oh, well. CPU coach, what are you doing to me? You know what, I'll fiddle, I'll fiddle with this a little bit later. Alright, and that is probably where, that is where we'll wrap it up. And we will see you next time. Thanks for watching.